Hello, my name is Samuel Warwick. I have autism. The entertainment industry has been a huge part of my childhood. So by being inspired to see other entertainment podcasters interviewing other people from television shows, I decided to do one myself to know about some funny behind the scenes, bloopers, and some stuff that we probably didn't know about while they were making the certain types of shows. This is Entertainment Treasure Talk with Samuel Warwick. Let's go to the podcast now. All right. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Entertainment Treasure Talk with Samuel Warwick. I am very excited for this episode because, you know, this is going to be a great episode, but I'll get introduced him in a moment. So it's the holidays and I want to know in the description what you got, what you guys are planning to do for the holidays and what, what, you know, what tradition you celebrate and all this. And sadly, this is going to probably be my last podcast of 2021. So, yeah, but anyway, t- t- my guest today is actually the voice of, is actually the original voice of Silver the Hedgehog, and I am very, very pleased to have him, he's actually my very first voice actor on here, I believe, and I am very, very awesome to have him here. His name is Pete Capella. Hello, hello, how are you hey. doing today? Hey, Samuel, how are you? I am doing good. I am doing good. I am doing good. But yeah, but yeah, you know, it, it's very great that we get to meet. First of all, this is very. It's very great that we get to t- talk to each other for the first time. You know, you know, this is very. You know, you know. I've been playing Sonic for so many years. I've been playing your character Silver for so <laughs> many for, for for a long time. He's not. I mean, I guess he's up there as one of my favorite hedgehogs. But sure. Yeah, but. Okay, first of all, what made you? Uh, and actually, before before I ask the ask you, um, did you did you star in anything else besides being the voice of Silver? Were you like 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 we tried to figure out if you were like the voice of Yu Gi Oh, like the, like Yu Gi Oh? No, like... yeah. So that was some weird when IMDb first started. Uh, somebody mislabeled me as that voice. Oh yeah, I, I auditioned. I've heard about that. What's weird is I auditioned for Yu Gi Oh all the time uh, in New York City. And never got it, and then somehow cool. it wound up on my credits. So I don't know what happened. Cool, 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 cool. But anyway, anyway, my first question is, how did you start getting into voice acting? That's a good question. Um, so I'm a, a theater, film, and TV actor by trade. But when I went to college, uh, I was at the college radio station and had a couple of college radio shows. So um, it started from there. I was into radio. And then when I graduated, I went into New York and someone I was working in radio there. And someone said, hey, you should do a voiceover demo. And I did that. And that's how it started. Oh, wow. But what was well, actually what was your very first your very first acting? Because I think that you were you, you that you did something before before you did this guy right here. Uh, voice wise, you mean, yes, or voice wi- or voice wise, or acting wise, whatever. Well, acting wise, I've been acting since I was, I don't know, sixteen years old. Um, so there was a couple different things before then, but my first big voiceover job was Silver. So Whoa. I would, yeah. So Four Kids Productions used to bring me in for auditions all the time. Uh, that's where Yu Gi Oh was. That's where Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was. Um, And they would always bring me in to read for them. And I was literally on my way out of the studio one day. uh, And they were like, hey, hey, hey. Because they always had me uh, reading deeper voiced guys. Uh, And they were like, hey, do you think you could do the voice of a 13-year-old hedgehog? And I was like, what does that sound like? I don't know. Uh, And we created the voice there. And uh, and that was the first big job I booked. Wow. That is is something. And actually... I think I have the game for PlayStation. Oh, Silver just dropped. But I have my PS3 copy. It's actually like, like a GameStop case. I couldn't get the original case. Uh-huh. But this is the disc right here. And I actually have the yes. original copy. I also I also have Sonic Rider Zero Gravity, which you have actually done work for. Mm-hmm. And I also have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. So it's actually for Silver's first, first one. And I have Sonic in the Secret Rings as well on the Wii. Yeah. So you you might have done some things for that, 
as well, which, you know, actually before my mother passed away, she actually used to love, we used to play Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games almost all the time when we were, oh, and she would wow. play Silver. That's really cool. I love to be part yeah. of that memory. That's yeah, awesome. My, and yeah. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Yeah, she died in February of that year. So like almost four years ago, February of 2018. So it was very hard on me. Sure. It was so hard, but I remember, but I, but I remember, but I would play silver a little bit too. So yeah. Cool. I love that. So yeah. Yeah. That. How was it? How, how was it like to work with Sega? So it was it was really interesting because uh, this was such a big relaunch for Sega. Like they wanted to relaunch this game and make it be huge. Because you remember they were it was I mean you don't remember because you're young, but uh, it was only out on Sega Genesis at that point, and so it wasn't an interactive world. You know, you're mm -hmm. in a two D world, yeah. Uh, and 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 there hadn't been a game in in a, probably almost a decade. So uh, it was a big thing for them. So it wasn't just. Uh, when I recorded, it was an American director and then a Japanese director from Sega in Japan and then a translator. So I got to work directly with the guys who were creating cool. this game. Cool. It was cool. really cool. Cool. I'm cool. You know, I'm into stuff. I'm, 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 I'm into a lot of dubbing. And you know what? I've been doing some voice stuff myself. I've been doing some fan-mated stuff. I'm actually mm -hmm. currently working on a redub from like Tom, from Thomas and Friends. And I'm currently cool. doing that. Yeah, somebody a few years, somebody like a year ago, found like that found that found out that with, with the surround audio that there was a whole dubbing track in the of the Korean dub, and they found it in surround point five point one, and they found out that it was a complete dubbing track with just the sound effects and the music. Hmm. So I'm actually doing some stuff with that, and people have cool. made instrumentals. So I've done some voice acting. And I think I know somebody who actually wants to do, wants to be a film industry, like be like a designer one day, like mm -hmm. a filmmaker one day. And I've been, and I've done some voices for, for him. That's so great. I've done I mean, a little bit of some voicing myself. That's the best way to get into it is just start loving it. You know, just do, do smaller projects, yeah. do friends projects. That's always the best way. Yeah. What's one of, what is one of your favorite roles to do with Silver? Like, what was one of your favorite game games? It's always going to be that first game. Even yeah. if people don't love the game. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people it was, hate it. Yeah, and that's fine. Uh, it, I like was, it. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Uh, but it, it was the first game where I got to create a full character, you know? Uh, yeah. And that was really, really cool for me. I like it. I, 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 I like the I, I, I actually quite like the game. I was into the music. I really love the music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. Silver's theme. Yeah. Silver's theme. Silver's theme. Actually, when I was younger, it kind of would, would was what used to make me cry a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know why, but just you know, but you know, listen to you know Bentley Jones's voice. Actually, he really did a good job. Yeah. He, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh, did you know about Sonic beforehand, before you started Silver? Did you know about, like, Sonic stuff beforehand? Did you play any Sonic I, games beforehand? I did, yeah. So, I, you know, I grew up, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little older, so I grew up with Sega and Nintendo and Atari even. So that was, like, the first one. Uh, there was no, there was no uh, Sonic on there. But as soon as Sonic came out for Sega, I had the game. So, oh, very uh, nice. Yeah. Very, 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 very nice. Did you meet any, did you meet, oh, yeah. How do you feel about, you know, the person that's, I forgot the name, but he, but the, how did you think the person that, I know that the dude that did it after you was Quentin Floyd. How do you, how do you think he did with Silver? I think everyone's take on it has been great so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, it's, it's an actor's job to create a new voice and do something that's different than before and make, yeah. make it their own. So I, yeah. I think he did a great job. And also Mike Pollock's been doing this for like, he's still in the franchise and he's been doing this for like. God knows how long. There's no one better than Mike Pollock. Oh, and he's the yes. most fun and sweet and loving dude you'll ever meet. Oh, yeah. He's just a really great guy. Yeah. And uh, I can't say enough good things about him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How did, oh, yeah. First of all, how, 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 how did you guys do the recording session of Sonic 06? Were, 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 were there like a group of people or nope. did you all do it separately? Almost never. So... Silver, all of Silver's lines were recorded with just me. All of Sonic's lines were recorded with just Jason, you know, yeah. so on and so forth. But there was one time where I was on my way into the studio 
as Jason was on his way out of the studio. And they were like, hey, will you guys come and do some additional voices in there? So we just did a, like a bunch of background voices together. Oh, yeah, I don't like, even remember like, what it ended up being. Like I believe but, just ha, ha, ha. Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't yeah. even remember what it was. But yeah, that was the one time I recorded yeah. with anyone else in the booth. But yeah, but, but yeah, and you know, it's been, you know, and you know, it's been like, you know, you know, I, you know, also my brother has the game for, for three 360 as well. I think he lost his copy, but we've actually been playing the game since 2011. Like late cool. 2010, or early 2011 is when we actually first played the game. So it's actually really, 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 it's a, it's a real fun game. And I enjoy the music. I really enjoy the music. And also, the music's great. Yeah, and uh, and also I know that some of the Sonic voice act that I know that the person that played Omega, I know that she was like a female, she was like a trans female, and don't worry, I support I support trans people. It doesn't matter, but she was like a trans female, and she passed away just a few a few day a few a few years after you guys did the game. Did you know about that? I did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I heard. I think her name was like Maddie, Maddie, whatever her name is. That like mm. she was the voice of Omega. And okay. Yeah, she, from from the game, and yeah, she she actually passed away a few years after you did that. So yeah, I wasn't aware. That's sad. Hmm, that you were not aware. Hmm. But any but did you go to any conventions? Did you go to any conventions? I went to one convention, and it was Sonic Con in 2010, I think, in Dallas, Texas, and it mm -hmm. was and it was. Pretty much that it was me and uh, it was Jason. I think was... I I think I saw that video. I think somebody uploaded a video yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I think I think I saw it. I think I saw, yeah. I think I saw it. That's really cool. That's, yeah, it was you know, it was really, really cool. fun to get to hang out with all of them. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It it must be. So of course you said it was always Sonic, but do you, but like of course it's always gonna be Sonic 06 because Silver. But hey, were you also were you supposed to do anything for Sonic X? I don't think so. No, nope. I don't think you were supposed to do anything for a Sonic X because yeah, because I don't remember you being because the only first the only thing I just know that you do mainly is Silver. But correct. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what other like. I don't know what other movie you really acted in. Like we found out, an, me and my best friend found like another movie that you acted in, and so I don't mm -hmm. really know what that is. I don't know what that movie is. Like I forgot what the name of it's called. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I can't tell you. There, I've been in a bunch, but I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, but this is, you know, really. This is, you know. But yeah. But yeah. But the, oh my! Sometimes I get confused. But. I get confused. You're good. I get confused about you know because this is this is like my third episode. So yeah, of course. <laughs> so, what was it? But did oh yeah, did you get to meet any other voice actors at all? Like I know we met people from Sonic, but but how do you think? Like I know I think her real name's like Bella Hudson. I or don't know Erica, who that is. Er, er, Erica, she did Blaze. She did Blaze. Like Erica, mm. Shul, 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 like, she was the person that did Blaze. Like oh cool. She, yeah, I, I only got to meet most of the voice actors from my specific game. Um, I know Blaze is in it, but uh, I had never met her. Oh, oh. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I know you met Jason. I know you met Jason. Yep. Oh my gosh, I think Jason has the best voice of Sonic and Shadow. Oh my yeah, gosh, he's great. Jason I is fantastic. Like him. Did yeah. you meet? Lee, did you? Did you happen to meet Lisa Ortiz at all? I did. Lisa was also at SonicCon. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, and Lisa was great. Yeah, but yeah, I don't. But yeah, I don't. But yeah, I think you only played this guy. Did did what? Did you play any other voices in 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 the game Sonic 06? No, not in the game. Again, we did some background voice stuff, but I don't remember what oh, it was. It wasn't a specific character. Oh, you just said let's just do some voices. So you guys uh, only just did the characters just one by one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that's really that that is really cool. But that that that's really cool. But yeah, but yeah. So I actually got silver. I, speaking of this guy, I I got this plus silver in like in Christmas of twenty of twenty eighteen. So uh -huh. yeah, he's really so yeah, he's really cool. But I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a, of a good scene from Sonic O Six. That was that's actually real. That's actually really great. I know his. I lo I actually like his line, like saying it's no use, and then uh -huh. and then he goes take this. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that is that is a pretty cool that's a pretty cool line. And I remember like he tells like Silver in the beginning of Silver Story, he tells a story about you know, and some people say that he's actually Sonic's future, fu- like future. Like I I saw like a, a video of like a Sonic Sonic fan. Like he said like. Sil- like silver could be Sonic's son, and I'm like, I don't, I don't. I mean, we never, we never talked about that, so not that I know of. I mean, not that I, not that I really know of of anything. Not that I really know of of anything, but yeah, you know, it's really, you know, it's 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 you know, it's really, uh, you know, who knows what these Sonic fans are really up to. <laughs> That's right. Sonic That's fans right. are really, you know, I see a lot of Sonic fans, and they talk about theories and all this. I talk yeah. about they talk about lost. Yeah, of but you know what? That's really I love that they uh, love the game that much. You yeah, know what I mean? The, yeah, like the series, I'm very lucky to yeah. be part of a franchise. Like yeah, that. the series is very po- the series is very very pop 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 popular, and I'm. Yeah. And I'm at, and I and I you know I'm glad to be a part. I have I have almost all the all the all the Sonic games from that, from 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 your particular era. I grew up with you uh-huh. y'all's as era, so right of Sonic's. Of Sonic's How old are you? Game. I'm like 21. I just turned 21 last last la, la, last Wednesday. So oh wow, happy yeah. birthday! Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I turned 21. Yeah, because it. If, yeah, I was. What like, did you do to celebrate your birthday? Oh, what I do? I didn't do really much of anything. They gave me a nice cake, and actually, actually, they gave you some Mario Kart action figures. It, had, it was part of a Mario oh, cool. Kart cake. Those cake, are great. So they gave me some Mario Kart. I'm a big Mario Kart fan too. Now I wish I actually had some questions to keep going. Like I had some. Like I usually ask for fan made questions to keep going. But normally nobody really nobody nobody this episode answered me. I know people from the other episodes answered but too bad but you know they didn't an- they didn't answer but did oh yeah did you play any other sonic game besides sonic 06 yeah i played the next uh like three or four that came out i i i i, I mean i played every one that i was in at some point in time just to hear yeah, it did, and did see you play it like the wii, did you play like the wii version did you play like the, did you play like your wii exclusive ones like the olympic games at all like the one yeah the olympics? uh-huh yeah. yeah oh my gosh did you do any extra lines for that or were they reused lines because i know that they I reused lines uh, oh you know they were were all new lines i recorded every single every single game is is a new record yeah that, that that's what i thought that, that that that's what i thought but yeah, did did you meet the voice of Mar- like did you meet the voice of Mario like Charles Martinet? No. You 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 never met him. No. That that's. I mean, I I thought you were a voice actor, so I really think that you you would probably meet a lot of people. And I and I did read that you were from New Jersey. I have I have quite a few people from New Jersey actually. A lot of oh, you yeah. a lot of you voice actors from that time came from New Jersey. That's so. right, because we were going into New York as actors, and so. Uh, you, you would, most auditions before the internet was, you know, it was around obviously, it was but it around, wasn't but how it you wasn't auditioned. It wasn't as big, it wasn't as big as it was. Right, and you, you had to go to places to audition for the most part. Like, you didn't send in records, you would send it, you would have to like go to the studio and record stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we would all, people from Jersey would go into New York and record stuff there. Cool, I have a couple of puppeteers that were actually originally from there. So I yeah I have a couple of puppeteers from the Henson from the Henson from Jim Henson mm-hmm. yeah I think I I know a few of them were probably were, were probably I know one I don't know if you would know the dude his name is like I don't know I don't think you would know him his name is John Tartaglia he's actually another one of my childhood and I plan to get him in my future podcast cool yeah, yeah I Tartaglia. don't know him but I'm a, yeah. I love. I love all Jim Henson movies. They're my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my yeah one of my favorite, and this was actually a TV show. It's actually a TV show that they did in like Disney World in Florida, and I talk about mm-hmm. it a lot. The show's called Animal Jam, and Animal Jam, and I know quite, a, and I want to get quite a few people from that show, and I know quite a few people have acted up there in California where you are now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I know, I know a quite. A, I don't know if you know what that. If you've heard of that show, was it wasn't very popular. It came. It I mean it was. I popular. don't know that show. No, I don't know it. I don't. Yeah, but I'm gonna probably mention mention it quite a bit. Because in my throughout my podcast, so yeah, people, I'm gonna mention this a bit through my podcast because it just it it brings a soft spot towards me, and you know, so does so does S- Silver, but 
you know, but you know, what, what was it? Did did you? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to ask. Besides all of the, did did you get this? Like, did, did like? So was I? Don't think the music was recorded where you guys were. No, right? definitely not. I I, I assume that was in, done in Japan. Yeah, the yeah I know that this music is a lot of the music and things like that are done in Japan. Like the designs and all, they're all done in Japan, and then you guys yeah. just. You guys just bring the lip sync up. Well, you guys dub it. I guess you could just say voiceover because I don't know if the Japanese people do it before you. Or... They're, well, yeah, they're, it's probably done after or at the same time. They're never done. I never hear the music until it's in the game. So you, ne you never hear anything exclusive, like no. the clips or anything? Like the clips well, or anything. I saw the first clip because the first line, first time I ever went in to record, the, I only recorded one line. And it was from the trailer that came out that year. Um, it was probably 05, I believe. Like yes, 05. that's correct. So you, you, and so it was the, always... I finally found it. He, it's the Iblis trigger line. Oh, that's... yeah. So you guys probably recorded the voice. You recorded the voices. You guys recorded the voices in, in probably, like, what was it like late 05, mid 05? Cause, or early 06? Because I am. I think that's. Y'all recorded the lines in like 05. I think it was. Probably early 05, and it takes oh, a long time oh, for them to develop the oh, game. Oh, wow. Early 05. Wow. I thought it would have been like mid 05 or something Maybe, like that. Maybe, but I, I really don't remember. I, well, you know what? It was definitely early 05 because it was that really was cold. You know what? It was. Go it, ahead. That was actually a big year for Sonic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It actually continued. Continue. It was, it was cold. It was really cold, and I was sick going to my first recording session. Oh, jeez. Because, and I remember it being the dead of winter. So Ooh, it had to be early geez. 05. Ooh, jeez. That must have been, it must have been very hard, but at least your voice was still perfect in there. Well, thank you. Okay, what's your favorite silver line? Um, hmm. Probably that one that I did for the trailer. The, I I finally found him, the Iblis trigger. I think. All right. I think that was my favorite because it was just fun to record because it was my f the first thing I recorded for the character. That 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 must have sound. You know, I don't know when you fully knew about the full project. Like, like you you just got the role by just you know by just doing some stuff for for like the three for like CW for, for like CW and then. All that. Yeah, that well, yeah. Really good. I, and they don't really, you know, I didn't get the scripts until the day of for this one. Yeah. So, um, you know, I didn't know anything ahead of time. So you didn't really know. You They just gave you the lines and you just read them. That's right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, you know, it, it, you know, 05 and, you know, the, the late to the mid 2000s was actually a big was actually a big time for Sonic cuz they came out with Sonic games year after year after year and now they're not coming out with a lot of Sonic games. I know I know and I'm kind of and, and that's kind of sad because you know we I've been playing this 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 blue hedgehog and, the, and these and and his friends for like so long and they came out with games year after year after year mm -hmm. and, you know I don't, and you know, now they're not coming out with much. Oh yeah, and also if I should say, also, I also have Sonic in a Black Knight 2, and Silver was actually Sir Galahad. I don't know if he, uh -huh. yeah, I don't know if he was supposed to have a role in the actual story. I don't know. Was yeah, he, I don't know either. I, I don't again, know. they don't tell us much when we're going in. Oh, they, they don't tell or you they much. they didn't. Maybe, maybe that's changed it. That yeah, changed. because he was maybe just in the changed. battle arena. He was just in the battle arena. I just played him in the battle arena along with, you know, Jet, who I forgot his real name, Sir G Gandal or whatever her name is. His name is, yeah, Sir Gandal. But, you know, Jet was, you know, Jet was kind of this character. I like Jet, too. I think Jason did a good job of Jet, too. Yeah. Jason's I, great, man. He really yeah, is. Yeah, we have about like eight minutes, so I have about like eight minutes because I don't think I have really much more. But I mean, we have about I think we have like eight minutes before you got to really go anywhere. But yeah. Yes, sir. But yeah, do, but yeah, actually, actually, to make this a little fun, I do got some questions for Silver. Actually, maybe I could get maybe maybe if if Silver is available, I can. You know, <laughs> sure, we could do a couple of questions so, like that. Say, okay, well, but 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 I but I but I got some questions. 
Go all right, ahead. All, all right, Silver. All right, Silver. So I got some questions for you, bud. What's what? What did what, what? How did how did you? How did I know it? You know, in the world, that's prob they're they're probably filming a camera. So how did you? In there, there was there, there's probably a camera there. So how did you get the role in there to in there to act, Silver? Oh, you know, uh, being a hedgehog from the future, there's only one role for me. <laughs> and also, Silver, I got I got you right here. I have a plush you right here. I see he's pretty good looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got. What was one of your favorite lines to say? What was one of your favorite lines to say in the my, movie? My favorite line. Hmm, that's a that's a good question. Uh, well, everybody loves uh, take that. Ooh. Take this. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That 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 was yeah. That was good. I remember playing when I first played you on the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By the way. Oh yeah. I actually for Pete. Actually, this is actually for Pete. Which system right, did you yeah. buy the game for? Which system did you get the game for? Did you have to buy the copy, I had a, or did you? I had a three sixty. Oh well, I time. have the PlayStation. Well, I had a PlayStation copy of it. Yeah. Yeah, my brother brought. But the gameplay was copy. exactly the same, from what I understand. Yeah, but 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 hey, but but hey. But hey, Silver. Also, Silver. How how do you like it when people wreck? Like, do you like how do you do you, do you ever get like did, did you do you ever get like fan mated mail? Like, do you ever get fan mail, Silver? Like from people. Yeah, I, I get fan mail sometimes. Uh, it's the paparazzi that really drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's the paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Silver. Did did did, did you or Pete see any other episodes of of my podcast? Like any of the other two that I've interviewed two people. So there uh, was. When you sent it to Pete, there was only one up, so yeah. we only listened to that one. Oh yeah, it, it, it oh yeah, it was that er, oh yeah, it was that Eric dude from like a show called Dooley that was also filmed in Florida. So that's I don't, right. I don't think I don't think you I don't think you guys have heard of that show, but it was. It no, was never heard of it, but I bet it's awesome. Yeah, it, yeah, it is really good, and I actually interviewed a, a girl from like the show Fetch with Rough Rough Men. I interviewed her, and she was actually. She 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 was all right. She was kind of rushy, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, Silver, is there anything you want to say to all your fans out there, all the Sonic fans, and you know, to anybody in particular? Uh, nobody in particular. Just all the Sonic fans. Thanks for your support, and uh, have a happy holiday. Oh, thank you. Happy holidays to you too, Silver. And how are you getting along with Blaze and Sonic and everybody else? Are they behaving good? Always best of friends. Awesome, 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 awesome. But yeah, well, I'm glad you all enjoyed this. I'm glad that you, well, Silver, I'm glad you enjoyed answering questions from me. Sadly, I didn't have any fan questions this episode, but I guess that's okay, you know. That's okay. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I got you right here. So this just proves right here that I'm a big fan. And he says hello to you as well. Right back at him. <laughs> but yeah, I bet a lot of my fans are gonna love are gonna love are gonna love this. But yeah, but I gotta finish talking to Pete and then. All right, I like that. Wrap, yeah, we gotta wrap up. But anyway, yeah. Pete, do you want to say anything to the Sonic fans as well? Uh, just you know, I it, 2006 was a long time ago. That's 15 years ago, and it's still cool that you guys love the game so much that you actually care to hear what I have to say. So. I appreciate that, and and thank you specifically, Samuel, for uh, having me on. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what, is there anything you want to say to anybody, especially during this, you know, tough times that we're still headed that we've been in for over two years? Just you know, absolutely. Get vaccinated. Stay safe. Stay masked. Stay distant. Yeah, and, and if we'll you can't get, get if you can't get vaccinated, try to figure out a way. Just stay safe. I understand lots of people can't do it for yeah. medical reasons. Yeah. Just yeah, but find a way to. Mask try, up and try. stay, stay safe. Yeah, if you can't, just just do the best you can to do this. Right. And, and And also, don't judge people about, you know, getting, you know, like, like one side's like, oh, oh, you need a mask, you wear this. Or one's like, I can't, th this is just dumb. I mean, it's not, it, it's not a dumb virus. It's serious. And, you know, you got to take, we got to take this seriously. That's we gotta right. We got to take seriously. care of each other. But That's anyway, Pete, important. thank you for having me on here. Thank you for being my Thank you for being my last person of 2021. Absolutely, you, my, friend, my pleasure. You, you, my friend. You, my friend. This has actually been really fun. But yeah, it's. I think we we actually ended around your 30 minute time too. Exactly right. So yeah, we're about like 28 minutes in. So yeah. 
yeah, anyway, guys, I don't know what I'm going to have at the beginning of the year, but hopefully sometime in the future, I am going to be trying to get somebody from, from, from the Muppets and probably maybe get somebody from Sesame Street, maybe, although I'm not big on it. I'm not big on a lot of, you know, the, these shows like Sesame Street, Barney, The Wiggles, any of those, but, you know, but, you know, you know, but, you know, guys, yeah, but, yeah, thank you, Pete, for being here, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me, Evan. It's, yeah. it's my pleasure. And yeah, but but yeah, guys, anyway, I want everybody to take care and everybody have a great and awesome holidays and Merry Christmas or Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holika, whatever you celebrate. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of the podcast. Peace out and have a great rest of your year. Peace.